Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Fertilization. So now that we have discussed almost all aspects of reproductive health where we spoke about the various contraceptive methods to keep the family uh, size in control to avoid unwanted pregnancies, we talked about infertility issues and how they can, what are the techniques that can help infertile couples to have kids. We also spoke about the sexually transmitted diseases, how they can be prevented or cured. So what do we conclude? after our discussion on reproductive health now it is extreme there are two scenarios which is possible one scenario is if you are giving birth to a baby so if you are pregnant so it is extremely important to take care of the mother and the child so that is the first scenario where proper nutritious diet should be given to the pregnant woman as well as lactating mothers because it is not only them who needs the proper diet it also the it is also the baby who is dependent on them for their nutrition. Proper age difference between children so that uh, the, the kid is not deprived of proper care and nutrition. Planning a baby at the right age of the mother because it is the mother who actually needs to bear the baby. Uh, so And that appropriate age is 20 to 35 years. Restrict the number of children not to add to overpopulation as I said and that is why we discussed all the various contraceptive methods. Avoid unwanted pregnancies so that you do not end up having abortions and uh, things which actually can hamper your future uh, baby plans. So this is the case when you are uh, about to give birth to a baby or you have already given birth to a baby. Now in case there is a couple who are not able to reproduce naturally. However, there, there are ways to uh, help you being fertile but adoption is always there as an option and it is one of the best possible option till date so adoption is the method in which you actually adopt kids who do not have parents maybe either because their parents passed away in some accident or because the mother died while giving birth to the baby or the reason could be anything so you actually see so many orphanages where you have so many orphans where they do not have a bright future just because they do not have a family so if there are couples who are looking for parenthood and they are not able to reproduce naturally the best option even today is to adopt a kid and build your family however there are uh, the infertility techniques already available in case you want to have a baby coming out of your own womb so these are some of the things which we discussed and now you would have understood why I defined reproductive health as physical, mental as well as social well-being because for all these things, whether you talk about adoption, whether you talk about discrimination between a girl child and a boy child, society also plays a very important role. Your mental uh, situation also plays a very important role. How you feel, how positive you are about giving birth to a baby or how positive or how willing are you to get pregnant. So there are so many things which are dependent on your mental, physical as well as social well-being and that is what is reproductive health. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and it is question time now where we'll quickly look through some of the questions to see if you got the lesson well or not. So this is question number one. What do you think is the significance of reproductive health in a society? Now this is what we have been discussing since so long. So reproductive health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being in all aspects of reproduction. Now reproductive health actually creates awareness among people regarding some of the very important and sensitive issues like prevention of STDs because several people die suffering from STDs just because they were unaware of it, they never went to a doctor out of shame or something like that. Avoid unwanted pregnancy, various available birth control methods so that people can actually avoid unwanted pregnancies with the help of those contraceptive methods. Gender equality, so female feticide has been stopped so that uh, people accept girl child as well because there is no difference as such between a girl or a boy. 
various ART techniques for infertility problems. So if the if an infertile couple they really want to have their own baby, so they can try for any of these techniques. So to so reproductive health is all about creating awareness among people regarding all these sensitive issues. Question number two. Suggest the aspects of reproductive health which need to be given special attention in the present scenario. So if you look at our present, uh, the present condition in our country, we feel that a lot of people die suffering from STDs. So awareness about STDs, their cure and prevention is a must. Create awareness about various contraceptive methods because even though uh, abortion just like that is illegal until and unless it is not causing any harm to the mother or the baby. But still there are many clinics where, uh, where illegal abortions are being done which is not good. So that is why awareness is being created amongst people about various contraceptive methods. Care of pregnant mother and newborn that needs to be taken care of so that um, because these it, it has been often observed that people now it has often been observed that the pregnant women are not taking proper care. I mean they just ignore their diet, they just ignore their uh, physical activity or proper rest and as a result sometimes the children which are born are diseased or the mother herself is not well during the delivery. So proper care has to be taken. So that is something again important. Medical facilities for reproductive issues like pregnancy, delivery, infertility etc need to be provided so that uh, no mishap happens so that the maternal mortality rate as well as infant mortality rate can be reduced further. Question number three. Is sex education necessary in schools? Why? Yes, of course it is necessary because uh, you should know all about sex or your reproductive system as soon as you enter your puberty or adolescence. Now, when you enter your puberty or adolescence, you are basically in school. So it is the school where you should be given the first sex education. Why? Because it will tell you the detail about your reproductive systems, your reproductive organs, how uh, things happen, how your organs work. It also tells you about the prevention and cure of STDs so that because sometimes it happens that generally it has been seen in teenagers that they uh, they end up having unprotected sex just because they don't know what it is. So they out of that curiosity they end up having a sexual intercourse for which they have to really pay high in terms of suffering getting infected with some STD. Safe sex practices puberty changes so if if a person is made aware about the puberty changes it, it doesn't come as a surprise to him or her so they know that okay these are the changes that are going to come my way very soon because i am entering my adolescence so these are some of the things which actually uh, if, if you keep them open to a kid so the kid takes an, it in a positive way because it is something there is nothing to be ashamed of all these things because these are part of our life so everybody should know it and everybody should know the pros and cons of it so that they can act accordingly. Question number four. Do you think that reproductive health in our country has improved in the past 50 years? If yes, mention some areas of improvement. Yes, of course. If you talk about improvement, yes, it did. It has improved quite a lot. So if you look at the data, it will tell you that the maternal mortality rate has reduced quite a bit. So earlier, a lot of females used to die uh, due to pregnancy issues or while delivery or due to some other reproductive issues. But the number has reduced quite a bit because of better medical facilities, because of more awareness among females. In fact, mortality rate has also reduced so now the, the newborn also the survival rate has increased so not many of them die. Smaller families are coming in place so people have started making use of contraceptives especially in the urban areas they are very common so smaller families mostly they have one or two kids. Unwanted pregnancies have also reduced again due to the presence of due to this easy contraceptive methods like contraceptive pills which is very simple and easy or the natural methods. So they have made things quite easier for people to avoid unwanted pregnancies. However, still in the rural areas or in some of the areas where people are still ignorant about all these facts and that is why they still have families where there are eight, nine kids. 
uh, where we still have families where in the want of a uh, male child they gave birth to almost 10 female ch children so that is also there in many areas so that is what improvement has happened over the past 50 years but yet more improvement can happen and that is what we are looking at stds reduced when compared to thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.